today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to fry an egg using coconut oil, no butter, using my Mat4 Bogey carbon steel pan. This pan was uh, seasoned with the potato skin, salt, and oil a couple times, so maybe six, seven months ago. It's very, very well seasoned. And uh, there's been some comments recently on the internet uh, from even some famous chefs that say, oh, you can't use or don't use uh, anything other than butter in a carbon steel pan or your egg will stick to the bottom of the pan. Eh, wrong answer. So stay tuned and I'm going to set my temperature right now on this particular burner to about uh, low right now you can see that and then I'll be moving it up to a maximum of three and then we're gonna fry the egg and I'm going to show you that it does work very well so all right I'm back all right what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open my coconut oil up here and I got the setting right now on about a level two right here and I'm gonna move it up to three but in the meantime I'm gonna take some of this coconut oil and I just put it always on the side uh, I don't always just put it in the center. I put it in the side, it heats up, it moves down. So I'll put a little in there. That'll be more than enough. Uh, coconut oil is really good for you and it also uh, gives the eggs a great taste. Now this will only take about a minute for it to uh, move down there. And because my stove is at a little bit of an angle, I move it around just to get it over there. So we're gonna let this heat up a little bit and you can see the coconut oil uh, melting away. I personally use butter and coconut oil but just for this demonstration I'm gonna show you that you don't need to use butter in a carbon steel pan. I use this pan every day, it's well seasoned. I also have uh, a couple other ones which I'll be giving some demonstrations on using the same, same procedure. So I'm just going to let this uh, heat up a little bit. I'm going to move it up to three now on the oven or the stove, rather. And we'll just give it a couple of minutes here and uh, let the whole pan kind of warm up a little. There's no rush. Making an egg the proper way is uh, kind of an art form, I guess. And it's heating up nicely, I can tell. I can see the oil kind of separating a little bit in there. I'm just going to move it around a little bit. I'm going to let it set right at three. And okay, let's uh, might be hot enough. We'll find out. Take the egg right now. The reason I put it in a dish is I have a real bad habit with when I crack my darn eggs. Usually I wind up getting shell in it, and if you get the shell in here, it's more difficult to get out. But it's easier to scoop it out of here. So just a habit I get into. All right, let's give this a shot. Slowly pour it in. And I'm holding the pan up in one, one area up a little bit so that the egg goes to that corner. Now I can leave it go once it starts solidifying around here. So we're not gonna touch it now. I'm just gonna leave it and you're gonna see what's gonna happen. starting to white, starting to get a little whiter around there, it's solid, but as you can see right in the center, I think you can, and I may have to zoom in on that, oh you can see it fine, I had to go back and look at my camera since it's off to one side, and like I said in the beginning, there, there's been a lot of controversies, why do my eggs stick to the bottom of my carbon steel pan, I'm going to throw it out, don't do that, I mean this is just, takes patience. I use this pan basically for eggs only and some of my other ones just for eggs or you know because that's what I use it and I use it every day. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tilt it a little bit. It's breaking loose. I don't want to uh, jiggle it too much because right in here it's sticking a little bit to the bottom but it's going to loosen up once it gets a little harder. A little more cooked rather, not harder. Well, I guess when you cook it, it gets harder. Now I'm just going to bang the end like that on the end of the uh, thing. And what? look at that. 
who says you, ha you have to use butter for it to be non-stick. This is as good as any Teflon or coated pan. Look at that. I'm going to take this now. It's getting ready to turn over because it's starting to solidify a little bit more in here. Bingo. We'll let that set for a second. And then move around. Look at that. So that just goes to prove to even a lot of uh, quote unquote uh, experienced chefs that you can use a carbon steel pan to make an egg using only coconut oil. Thanks for stopping in and uh, stop back soon. We'll have more uh, videos for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.